Hello everyone and welcome back to Super uh, Super Meat Boy. Alright, last time we took a detour and unlocked basically every character you can unlock just by like, you know, um... <laughs> we unlocked basically every character you can unlock just by uh, going through like warp zones. So we got Ogmo, we got um, Super Jill, whatever her name was, we got the kid. <laughs> I think we got one more. Yeah, Fly Wrench. I actually looked up a couple of the games I'm not really familiar with just because I was kind of curious and, um... Yeah, some of those games look really obscure and, like, you know, we haven't really... God, I don't even know what, like, this is. That This game looked really weird, by the way. <laughs> um... Also, I have a prediction. I think this is Steve from Minecraft. Because I can't think of any other, like, indie game character that was popular around this time um, that has, like, a head shape like that. Maybe that's from, like, Revenge of the Tentacle? Doesn't the character from Don't Starve have a head shape like that? Was it? No, I think this came out before that game, so that wouldn't be it. I'm gonna guess these are just, like, variants on Meat Boy or something. Like, maybe you could actually play a Super Bandage Girl or something. <laughs> Still have no clue what that one could be. Also, I'm gonna play as the kid for a little bit. I feel like I deserve to, after, uh... <laughs> after some of the trouble this stage gave me. <laughs> Oh, but there is something I'd like to try, too. Are you ineligible, um... Are you ineligible to get, um, to get all of the, uh... Oh, this is way easier. <laughs> I just want to check if you're, like, ineligible to get, um, A-plus ranks if you play as someone other than Meat Boy. I should probably do this on an easier stage. I'm gonna go back to, like, a World 1 stage real quick just to test this. I wish you could skip these. <laughs> I have not gotten an A-plus in this one. You can! Oh, that's something else. Okay. I think I will be playing as the kid then, because you can still get um, A-plus ranks. I can't say I really expected you to still be eligible for, like, A-plus ranks if you play as other characters. Like, that just doesn't feel like something a game like this would do. It's like, these characters feel more like something you're meant to do for fun, as opposed to, like, something you're meant to do for, like, progression. Oh my god, I, I deserve this double jump after all the trouble this game gave- this character gave me. New mechanic? Oh! But hold on, how do these work? They push you down? Oh, they push you away from whichever way they're like, oh. Oh, but you can fall through them. Oh, I kind of like that mechanic. Uh-oh. Oh no, oh no. That's a cool mechanic. <laughs> Didn't get the A plus there. Oh, this is one of those like unique double side mechanics where it can like work for or against you. stuff like that in platformers like this. 
Oh my god. I don't want to get too used to the double jump, you know? Ah. Okay, that was close. I need to, like, slide up that. That works. Push me up higher. Oh my god. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> ah! Maybe I gotta be Meat Boy for this? Maybe his physics are just a tiny bit different. I feel like I have to- ooh. He does actually feel a lot faster than the kid, now that I like play him back to back like this. <laughs> These stages are obviously designed for Meat Boy, but like if I can cheese them with the kid, I will. <laughs> I don't have my double jump now. Ah, oh, come on, I would have used it there. Okay, so I gotta get closer to his momentum- its momentum will actually- uh-oh. I don't think this is salvageable. Nope. Yeah, the, the Meat Boy is like a tiny bit heavier, so... I think it is like best to go to him for these. Oh, not that one. Yeah, because I need the character to slide down a tiny bit, just so I can get to get more momentum on the way up. Yeah, and here I was thinking this is one of those platformers that didn't really utilize momentum. Oh, uh, okay, I didn't see that one, I just careened right into it. <laughs> That second one is tricky. Maybe 
I don't need to. No, I do, I do, I totally need to. Uh. Oh, that's not helpful. That's really not helpful. You might help. Let me try Commander Video real quick. No, I need someone with weight in order to get that. You're heavier. Your vertical jump makes this hard, though. Shit, hold on a second. Could I just sneak my way out there? Oh my god. I know, I don't think that'll work. Ogmo? No. Jill. Oh, Jill kind of seems to have similar weight to Meat Boy. Oh my god, Jill might be able to do this. Oh, that's easier. Okay, don't careen into the into the saw blade. I need. Oh, there we go. Jill got got it done. <laughs> I don't know if this is like intent the intended way to do these. Like, if you are meant to be like, I saw a bandage up there. If you're like intended to be swapping between them like this or this quickly. Oh, man, I like I like testing my options. You know, the game gives them to you. They want you to play around with them. I still don't like how her her jump works, though, <laughs> or how her glide works. Oh! Oh, that's a tight jump. That last one it wants you to do. Ah! Got it. Oh man, I kind of like Jill. <laughs> oh, and here's the one where we unlocked the kid. <laughs> Wait, where is Bandage Girl on this stage, anyway? Oh, 
Oh, she's down there. Well, that took a lot longer than intended. <laughs> I just played as the kid. I can handle this. <laughs> Now, she's probably as, like, tight physics as we're gonna get from this. I really wish there was, like, a more definitive, like, stat sheet for these characters. Like, the game does tell you, oh yeah, this one has a double jump, but is slower, you know. But I feel like a more modern game would, like, give you, like, you know, an actual spreadsheet of their abilities. Whoa! Evil Meat Boys! Oh my god. Okay, how do these guys work? They cannot wall jump. It seems they like to jump when you jump. Oh god. I, this is a funny mechanic. <laughs> so it seems like they just... Do they jump like the second they see you? They jump when you jump. Kind of. Oh, this is a... You have, like, zombie meat boys. It seems like this one... Yeah, you can do a little cheese like that. Ah. Maybe some of a different ability might help. Actually, wait. Being sticky might be useful. Oh, not there. No, no. Honestly, the stickiness just seems to get more in the way. That went better. Okay. Oh, more gonna constantly spawn, but I... I gotta wait for that key to, to come down. Wait, I could probably just stick on that wall as head crab. It's weird, sometimes you slide up the wall. I... It's a little weird how this character works. There. Oh, they can die! Also, I think I figured it out. When you're holding run, um, you slide up the wall, but when you're holding dash, you, um... Oh, oh that was embarrassing. Okay. I, this character is just hard to use. I think I'll... Let's go back to Jill. Wait. How am I meant to do that? Uh, 
Uh-oh. Uh... How do you do this jump? Maybe Commander? Because I can double back down and like... Ooh. I don't know how you're supposed to do that. <laughs> I feel like that is a way to do it, but that doesn't feel like the intended way to do it. Uh oh. Uh, we did it! want. Oh, you're just... Why would I ever start a match by running that or a stage by running that way? I need a heavier character, probably. Ah. This is possible as video, but it just seems kind of annoying. Ah, oh, okay, we'll try... You feel a little heavier. I fully understand the AI on these things. There we go. Nope. Ah. Oh. Got it. Got it. See a bandage down here? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, I probably need some of a double jump to get that. The kid. You know, now that I think about it, why would I ever play as Ogmo? He seems a little floatier, but, like, that doesn't seem like a very good utility in most situations.
your wall jump is not as high either, I'm just now realizing. Come on, I will get this. There we go. Oh, okay. I can go under it. Oh, no. I wonder if Ogma would be useful here, too. Ah, oh, come on. That does feel easier if a little slower. Okay, okay. Do I need a heavier character to do that? We're getting close to the end of the stage. You need to die. Okay. Now jump. I feel like I can't hesitate here. No, I hesitated. I... okay. Oh, I, I didn't, uh, I didn't. <laughs> I mean, I certainly didn't. Oh, oh, that was weird. Um. I think, okay, I, as, if I can make that jump, I think I got this.
Try it! Ooh! <laughs> God, this should be a norm. Or this feature should be a norm in a lot of- Wow, I only did that- went down there like four times. Oh no, it's way more than that. <laughs> I just took a lot longer on some attempts. God, this feature should be a norm for stuff like this. That's so charming. Oh, whoa. Wait, what was that on the on the left there? Uh Well, that's one way to beat the stage. Um <laughs> Uh-oh. Don't freak out. Okay, I feel like those are more tailor-made for Meat Boy's jump. So let's swap to Meat Boy. That's so weird playing as someone so fast after that. <laughs> Don't bonk your head on the ceiling. Don't bonk your head on that guy. Line that? Oh my god. I probably just have to do a series of short hops. That looked correct. There we go. Um... Ooh. Hold on. <laughs> yeah! Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah! <laughs> That's one way to cheese the level. <laughs> Oh god, those again. Wait, huh? Wait. Oh, you do need those now! Uh oh. Ah, oh, okay. These actually don't seem as scary, you just have to keep moving. And they probably won't hit you. Oh, I didn't intend that.
I, I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, I accidentally went to the... Oh, I can do the boss right now if I wanted. <laughs> um... Nah, we'll, 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 we'll still do them in order. Gate of Lud. Alright. One more and I'll be able to unlock a new character, I think. Oh wait, no, the next one is at 30. Okay. Ooh, uh... Wait, that's it? Oh, up there! Oh, I gotta, like, survive in this now. Wait, you know who's really good at staying in the air for prolonged periods of time? Let's swap to Jill for this. Also, what is this white stuff? I thought it was like salt at first, but it's like wiggling. Oh god, are those maggots? That's gross. <laughs> Yeah, just stay here. Just stay here. Oh god, more gets added in. Um, because of that one up there. Okay, just go. Just make a break line for it. There we go. How did I not get an A-plus for that? How could I have done that faster? <laughs> oh. Oh, those in close quarters, though. That might be tricky. And two of these. I still think Jill might be the most useful for this area. Oh, I gotta get in there now. Let's try OG Meat Boy. was close. Oh my god, I should have just stood under it. Oh, 
Okay, fine. Play it safe. And I got an A+. Plus. Okay, cool. Oh, I want to see that replay. <laughs> Judgment? What the heck are those? Oh god, they move like the ghosts from like... from like Yoshi's Island. Let's go to you again. I feel like the double jump would really help me for those sections. This section right here. Can you bonk off of them? <laughs> There's an enemy like that in Celeste as well. <laughs> they kind of look like an enemy from uh, the womb stages in Isaac. Which, like, again, Ed McMillan loves referencing his past games, so that makes sense. How did I not die there? That's a fun obstacle, because if you fall in, there's still a chance you could get out. <laughs> oh, there we go. Alright, let's do the Rapture boss. Larry's Lament. That sound effect is from Isaac. <laughs> it's that thing from Binding of Isaac! <laughs> I didn't know he had fingers. Dude, this is like the easiest boss in the game. <laughs> okay. Whoa! Okay. Ah, wow, they just hum in straight on top of you. Do they only have one attack and it's that charge? I'm curious about something. Okay, okay. You think you might have to, um... You think you might have to coax them into hitting the spikes? That is what you gotta do, okay. The sound effect for this boss is, like, stacked on top of each other. Wait, what? It says that they have projectiles. Oh, God. Am I safer if I, like, get up here? Uh, nope! Also, can I swap characters? You cannot swap characters during boss fights. You know, that's- that's fine. <laughs> this feels like a boss that there'd be, like, a really simple trick to doing it. Come on, not that, not that. It does feel like I can, like, just stay on this side. Wait, do you just roar? Do you just roar? <laughs> Am I too close? Oh. That was easy. Dude, is it just me or are these bosses getting easier? Like, the farther I get in.
Did he make it? <laughs> oh, there we are. The end. It looks like there's one final stage after this. This is Pokemon. <laughs> oh, only five stages? The Pit, Schism, Echo, Gently, Omega. Oh, that's at 30 seconds. These are longer than average. Uh... Oh, come on, come on, come on. The song has motifs of opera in it. Is that the right use of that word? I don't know. <laughs> Oh, that's enough to get up there. I am not making par on this stage. Got it? I have to go back up, aren't I? Uh, woo. Ooh. Hold on, I think... Oh, oh, okay, okay, I can't. I can only use me, use me point in this area, too. Obviously, I'm, about to, I'm gonna have to go back up through that area. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes. Uh-oh. Ah, come on. Control your slippery meat, please. How did I not die there? Okay, okay. You know, okay, I don't think I've mentioned this yet at all, but, like, I think it's a really funny detail that, like, you leave a blood trail on every tile you pass over, even, like, through death. <laughs> it's, like, a funny detail because, like, it it lets you know, like, how far, like, along in the stage you are. Like, it's, like, an indicator of how much you've died in a stage. And I'm gonna be honest, I feel like if I played this as a kid, I would, like, maybe do a challenge to try to, like cover everything red. But he could even do ceilings. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Just a heard a little slap as he touched it. <laughs>
God, that's a tough jump. This is the first I've gotten, though. Oh, my God. See, I know that that's the first time I've tried that strat because there was no, like, blood trail on it. Ah. What kind of meat do you think Meat Boy is, anyway? I think he's, like, beef or something. It's like, a beef is typically red, but that is, like, really red. A really funny open-ended question I came up with once. <laughs> How cheap does meat have to be before you get suspicious? Like, if you go into, like, the supermarket, how little per pound must it, it must be before you go, oh, that's a little weird. <laughs> okay, do a short hop there. Oh, I didn't have to hop at all for that one. I thought I was going to ram my face into that one, but there we go. Okay. Echoes. Uh oh. I like movements like that. Oh, right, okay, that can poke through this the top. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, we're not getting par now. Oh, you can't reach if I'm, like, on the edge, edge. Oh, what in the world? Right, 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 the shafts don't hurt you. Oh, it ends just right there. Oh, there we go. probably can't hurt me here. I should have waited to see like how far those buzz saws went before I made the, uh, went for that jump. Oh god, I hate when they do stuff like this. Um This looks safe. Nice! Was that first try? Yeah, that was first try. Omega. Is that a button? No. A short hop will not hit the spike. There we go. Ooh, that's an advanced looking tech right there. Up. Too far. <laughs> of course, correct. <laughs> It's weird, you gotta pull away so you don't hit the spike on the right, but then you gotta, like... That, that's a very tight jump. Oh, uh-oh.
Uh oh. Got the short hop. Oh, I, I did a full hop there. There we go. That's what I've been trying to. Oh shit! <laughs> no! Come on! If I can do the guy stages, I can do this. I can beat Celeste Chapter Nine. I can do this. Like. Yes, I will keep bringing that up. Like. <laughs> Hey, how many people do you know who can be- what the hell do I do here? Um... Clearly I gotta, like... I need more forward momentum. Actually, hold on a second. I wanna try something. Oh god, this stage is large. I might look up, like, just someone doing this one eventually. I don't know. <laughs> Okay, now I can do that more consistently. I'm gonna look this one up. What is this? Like, 5-5, five, five, I think? No, 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 6-5. Six, 6-5. Five. Six, five. Oh, this person, like, slides underneath it. The Therapist Gamer, I like that name. Too- way too high. Way too high. Oh my god, I never noticed this, but, like, the blood splatter from your previous deaths, like, persists when you reload again. <laughs> Almost did a full hop there. I did do a full hop there. I was not supposed to do a full hop there. This video also slowed down the footage during the trickier sections, which I do appreciate. There we go! Okay, okay, that jump in is a, isn't as scary as it looks. Uh, I can... yeah, no problem. I always forget just how much horizontal momentum Meat Boy has. I thought that was gonna kill me. Uh-oh, ugh, oh, oh, panicked there. This is a tough one. <laughs> Uh, that was way too risky. Oh, too, too high, too high. Too... <laughs> oh, you actually can kind of full hop there if you, like, just hold the entire time. Too low. It seems like the second lowest tile is probably the best place to jump there. Ah, too... nope.
There we go. I think that was like the third lowest tile, but it worked. Ah. Too high. Come on. Oh, fuck you. Okay, <laughs> yes. I gotta look up that video again. What do you do here? You clearly have to jump off, but like, do you do it like close to it or far from it or? I, dude, I love how this person is editing this video. <laughs> so you start real high, and then you just do short hops. Like, really close to touching the spikes. Like that! And this person got really close to the edge. Good. Oh, there she is. You've seen the end. This jump really worries me. Ah, for good reason, okay. I might have to look at that video a couple more times, but I think I got this. Just gotta do it now. I cannot wait to see the, the replay of this one. <laughs> I think this is the most deaths I've had on a stage outside of um, the I want to be the guy section. Does this game track your deaths like Celeste does? Oh, oh, I did not need to do a full hop there. Good. Ah! Oh.
No, 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 no. Ah! I want to see Therapist Gamer do this again. doing that like um hold on I'm doing both this ju this jump and the next difficult jump more consistently though I've noticed and as I've said time and again when doing these hard stages that is a good thing that's a sign that you are improving a sign that you can get to the next hard section easier What am I doing wrong? Okay, fuck you. Okay, um... Oh, right. Right. Wait, hold on a second. This person is doing this to Fuck off! Oh my god! The jump I do on that, like, first section that gave me trouble... Again, what I was saying about, like, oh yeah, give me, like, four to five minutes and then we can try a theory. Like... It's like the most frustrating thing about level design like this. <laughs> okay. What, huh? So what this person is doing, you're coming down here. Oh my god, that works too! Just noticed my cursor was on screen. Oh, okay, that jump is that that spy or that saw blade is noticeably closer or like higher than the other one.
Actually, this strat does seem easier, if a bit more time-consuming. Yeah, that actually does seem a lot easier. Wait, is it lower? Maybe it isn't, and I'm just, like, freaking out a bit. <sighs> that one, okay. I jumped. Fuck you, game. I really hate that jump. Yes! Oh, and I got the A+, plus, so I'll never have to do that again. <laughs> I wonder if there's a cap to how many Meat Boys can be on screen for these. to like what well look at that meat boy down the bottom left <laughs> wow that was my fastest run too this one down there just really hesitating <laughs> well all right then is this the final boss i guess it seems like there's one final world after this but oh my god this is annoying like <laughs> the only one I... I'm curious. Oh, no, no, no. I just want to see what this looks like. Oh my god, yeah, these are, like, just totally hard mode versions. That is kind of insane. Oh, I can swap ki No, I can't. Okay, I'll go back to the map. Go back to Light World. Nope, this button. Alright, let's do Dr. Fetus. Is Meat Boy immortal? Like, <laughs> it's... I gotta admit, Fetus is like a pretty cool design. Wait, what? Oh, he's firing that, that bazooka at me. Oh, is this like an auto-scroller stage again? Oh, this is weird. It's like a mix between Brownie and, like, one of those rocket launchers. <laughs> this one actually can hurt you. Uh, wait. Wait a second. Ooh, that's tricky. Oh, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Ah. You. Okay, I, I, I just gotta wait. I can already tell this is gonna be an annoying boss, just because there's so much waiting.
Yes, fire at the wall, fire at the ceiling. <laughs> Is this really it, though? Like, do I not have to... Uh oh I feel like I might have to, like, attack him at some point during all this, but Meat Boy doesn't have, like, an attack. We've never had a mechanic where you could, like, jump on an enemy or something. It's weird. It's like Brownie, but he's deliberately staying in back of me. And, like, why do these stop sometimes? Just so he can get up here? It seems like there's multiple ways... It seems like there's multiple ways to do that specific section, and, like, going up top is the easiest. It looks like he's almost freaking out about the, uh... <laughs> About the top, about his or about the the saw blades as much as I am. Uh oh, ah, not again. expecting him to fire a third time, but he never does until he's, like, way over there. By that point, if I haven't started my way up, like, I'm in big trouble. This is- this- this feels weird. Like, it feels like he's holding back, almost. Like... I'm not sure if I like this fight. <laughs> oh, ah. Uh. Celeste didn't have many of them, but I think that game did bosses way better. <laughs> and that game, it really was just, like, chase or touch a thing. Or ch get chased by or touch a thing. Touch of Adidas. Right, he sticks to the wall a little bit. I don't like that mechanic. Like, I really don't. I had a feeling it was something like that I had to do. Yeah, that's really not that bad, as long as you don't mess up that first jump. Ah, oh my gosh, speaking of messing up the easy jump! Yeah, that is actually not as hard as it looks. And you know what? I probably don't need to jump here. I could probably just fall. Uh... Ooh, that was scary. Wait, now what? I need him to hit that button. 
Wait, do I? Oh! I'm looking this up. Uh, this looks just annoying. Oh, wait! The white bits in the background there don't hurt you. I, I don't know why. I thought that was, like, salt when I saw that. Or the maggots or whatever, like, the white stuff that kills you in this in this world is. You are meant to just jump to it, and then it opens up the thing on the right, and you hit that, and it's like hitting... <laughs> it's like hitting Bowser's axe. And now that I think about it, I'm kind of surprised, like, Bowser isn't more associated with axes because of the first game. I don't know. <laughs> like, I could see him using one like Mario and Luigi or something. Gotcha. Oh, yeah, okay, those are just, like, holes in the background. Okay, so you're totally meant to just... Uh-oh. There you go! I think I was about to die there and get crushed by- <laughs> Yay, he died. <laughs> Oh god. Oh, she's riding me now. I probably just have to... Oh, wait, is this the same stage but in reverse? Kind of looks like it. Is there a time limit here? Ah, okay. For some reason, the spikes here don't get bloody when I ram into them. <laughs> Cool, they were able to design a stage that works well both forwards and backwards. Actually, the very tip of this doesn't it doesn't go this far. I'm just gonna assume I have all the time I need here unless stated other unless the game tells me otherwise. Unless like the floor falls below me or something at the last minute. <laughs> Wait, 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 what? Oh! It does change a little bit. I probably have to... Too, uh, too high.
Honestly thought I was gonna die there. Okay, we got some time here. Now. Oh my god! That was a stupid way to go. Uh... That, that jump tricks you. You keep thinking you have to full hop there, but you really don't. Oh. Good. Wait, where do I go? Not up there. Down here. Oh god, I hate jumps like this. Ah! Oh my god, okay, that was just me being dumb. Why did I jump there? Okay. Full hop. Jump it when it's coming towards you. Good. Oh, this is getting claustrophobic. God, I hate jumps like that. Jump over it. Fall in. Did it! The end. <laughs> Oh no, I can't believe Meat Boy died. What, you again?! Why did you get so buff? Well, there we go.
Oh no. <laughs> yes, just leave it up to interpretation. What happens next? <laughs> that was incredible. <laughs> God, I'm so glad I finally got a chance to actually try this game out. Oh my god. Wait, when did you get your skin back? Warp Zone Art. That's oh, like a couple dozen- <laughs> Oh no! Okay. <laughs> XBLA team, special thanks. I recognize a few of these names. All my failed attempts at dancing in the un in the afterlife. <laughs> Does every dead meat boy go to hell? Do some of them go to heaven? Maybe. Like. <laughs> ah, so that's what you fight in Binding of Isaac. I need a drink of water, hold on. <laughs> the end! Okay, okay, that's what I was worried about. Um... Wait, so there's more, like, in the, like, more plot in the Dark World? Only 50% done. Yeah, they really want you to do the Dark Worlds. What in the world? Cotton Alley. Wait, you're, you're playing as Bandage Girl? This is Ghosts and Goblins, Ghouls and Ghosts, whatever that game is called. Oh my god. Are these harder? Yes, they are. I'm not- I might not be doing these. <laughs> I got kinda close that one time. Huh, those are hard. Uh <laughs> And do those have Dark World versions, too? Dark Worlds are kind of cool. Like, they're just, like, twists on stages that make them more difficult. Interesting. Uh... Okay, okay, I gotta think for a minute. I, I mentioned this at the start of this playthrough, I am not in the mood to do a bunch of, like, post-game stuff like I did last time. Like, <laughs> after 9 really pushed me to my limits, and I'm not really in the mood to, like, do more insanity like that ever again. <laughs> at least on camera. I have gone back and, like, done a few B-sides I haven't, or B-sides uh, I... Or I have gone back to, like, attempt the B-sides I didn't do beforehand. Now, I do have a question about... Let me go to a stage I can actually use these um, extra characters. Still don't know what that is. Let's go back to the forest real quick. Um, okay, Super Meat Boy, all bandages. All bandage location. How many are there in the game? Each world has 20 bandages, 7 in the light, 7 in dark, and 6 in warp zones. Okay, so if I am to get every character, you need 100 to get them all. And how many worlds are there? You need them all to unlock everything. So I would need to 100% the game for the most part. I, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not really in the mood. <laughs> I'm gonna 
do this in my own time, but I'm not. I'm just not in the mood to like do it on camera again. You know, <laughs> I want to move on to other games. I am curious who the characters are, though. Also, I just realized this is a Mario 2 reference, the character select, but like the curtains are made of meat, which is kind of creepy. <laughs> I'm gonna look up who the characters are. Can I get like a... When I look up Super Meat Boy on Google, one of the, like, auto-questions is, what is Meat Boy made of? Edmund has confirmed that Meat Boy is not made of animal meat. This is, uh, means he's possibly made out of human flesh. Okay. <laughs> that is not what I expected. Top 10 best unlockable characters. How many are there? Like, okay, I just found like a list of all of them with accompanying images. Oh no, where'd it go? Uh, ah, come on. I don't unlock every bonus character. Okay, I found a list. I found a list of them all. This one doesn't have images, so I will have to use my imagination of who these are. Okay, so at 30 bandages, you get Alien Hominid. Wait, that's the silhouette of Alien Hominid? I know who that is. That's like an old school Flash game character. It's like a yellow alien of a gun. It's kind of a Contra-like. That's kind of cool. At 90 bandages... Oh god, they're out of order. Um, Captain Viridian! That's from VVVVVV. That's, that's a cool reference. God, that was out of around this time. How old is that game? Okay, and then... Huh. Okay, this guide says at 10 um, bandages you unlock Gish, which I think is another Ed McMillan character. Wait. Goo Ball. Just like Gish, but only available on PC? Wait, th there are console and like PC exclusive characters? This is Goo Ball. What is Goo Ball from? Oh my god! World of Goo, probably! That that was like a real popular game around this time that I also have somehow never played. Jill and Joseph. I don't know who those are. Let me look up pictures of them. <laughs> oh no, Mighty Jill off. I've unlocked her. Yeah. Joseph. Who is Joseph? Main character of... Machinarium? I've never heard of that game. Let me look that up too. Oh, I've seen this style before. It looks like a point-and-click, which might explain why I've never heard of it, because I've... I'm not the biggest fan of those types of games. Meet Ninja is the next unlockable. That's just a recolor of Super Meat Boy. Okay. <laughs> you get that for 100% in the game, so I would have to 100% the game to get all the characters, so I think I made the right call. Who is Nija? That's not the next one. I don't know who that is. 
Main character of the game, Aquaria. I, apparently that's also the name of a pop singer. Uh, Aquaria game. I've never heard of this game. I don't know what what this is. Um, it's got some cool monster design, though. Alright, what's next? Ogma I unlocked? Pink Knight? Oh, from Castle Crashers! Oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> Potato Boy. In the world? Unlocked by April Fools, Glitch Abuse, and Pirated Copy? <laughs> Wait! <laughs> There's a character exclusive to pirated versions? Some pirated versions of the game have Potato Boy as their permanent replacement to Meat Boy. It is rumored this was done by Timmy to reduce piracy. Oh my god, this is one of those, like, anti-piracy games that just, like, you know, it's, <laughs> it just makes the game unplayable. It's one of those anti-piracies. Those are always fun. <laughs> Run Man is the next character. Oh god, I haven't heard that name in years. Run Man Race Around the World? Yeah, I've seen someone play that before. Wow, that is... That's a deep cut right there. <laughs> oh, Spelunky is a character in this. Or the Spelunky guy. He's the next character. His official art looks so angry. <laughs> the next character is... Steve! Yep! Or Mr. Minecraft, as he's called in some versions, apparently. <laughs> he can dig and place blocks. That sounds kind of OP. Wow, this is this is like old school Steve too. This is probably like back when um This is back when like the game wasn't like, you know, it was like pre-alpha, you know, like we're talking like Notch still owned it, kinda old school Minecraft. The kid I've unlocked. The ninja. Not to be confused with Ninja or Meat Ninja. From N? Oh, I like N. <laughs> N's another. N was like a really early, like, Tough as Nails platformer. Next character is someone called Tim. Oh, from Braid! I've somehow never played that either. My god. <laughs> I do know what Braid is. God, I should play Braid at some point. For the channel. Like, Braid's a fun game. And Tofu Boy. Unlocked by Code Input. Wait. Oh my god, okay, yeah, yeah, I was I was reading the wiki here. Yeah, this is the character that was added in response, I think, to, like, something PETA did? I don't know. I think PETA made, like, a few, like, um, Flash games a few years ago. And, like, I think one of them was a parody of Super Meat Boy, but you played as, like, a piece of tofu instead. And it was, like, criticizing Super Meat Boy because, you know, PETA hates meat. So, in response, they, like, added that character and his gimmick to this game, and his gimmick is that he's just terrible. <laughs> I do know about that story. Oh, well, yeah, there we go. That was Super Meat Boy. Yeah, this is fun to play through. I died in level 1-1. One, one. <laughs> Surprised that doesn't get you an achievement. Well, I can use this error giving an achievement for dying in really funny ways. Like... Oh, yeah, there we go. That was fun. <laughs> Well, I'll see you folks later. Thanks for watching.